subscribing to my channel you'll be very welcome. Today we are going to be working on making underclothes for our dolls. Halia has been very busy. Hope you'll come and join us. Today we are working on making some little boxer shorts for our dolls. We've made some which will fit onto our Disney princess dolls. We've made some which will fit onto our Welly Wisher dolls and our Glitter Girl dolls and we have made some which will fit onto our, our Generation dolls and our American Girl dolls and our any 18 inch dolls. And we're just going to now make some more for Raphael and I've got just an old sock but this part of the sock is really quite nice. So I'm going to cut it and that's all I've done with the other um, ones. I'm just going to cut the whole of the bottom of the sock on it. Now you can use brand new socks if you want to. You can get them quite cheaply. <laughs> so here we have the sock. Now what we need to do is we need to pop it on to Raphael. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it to where I want it. So I want mine not too high up on him. Okay. Now obviously it's going to be better if you can get a sock without a word on it, but that's okay. And then I'm going to get it now and I'm just going to pin where I want that front piece to be. Okay, so that is going to be his crutch there. All right, now I'm going to slip that off. Okay, I'm going to lay that flat on the table and get that how I wanted it laid. So it's going to come about here. So that's what I want the front piece to be. But because his back, can you see his bottom, it sort of comes up like this. I'm going to want my bottom piece on the back to come a lot further down. So I'm going to bring my piece on the back. As you see, it should be about here. So that would be about here. That's where the pin is. I'm going to bring it down to about here. So I've got plenty to play with. I'm going to fold it in half. Right. Now you don't want a huge amount here on that bit, you only want a small piece, okay, so I'm just going to cut a small piece here, like that, All right. and then I'm going to do his legs. So I've taken that and I've, this is where my back piece is going to be and that is where it's going to come to, so I've just done one small snip across there and then I'm going to fold it in half and what I want to do is I want to come up to where I wanted the legs which was about here and I'm just going to draw a circle like this okay just rough okay and then I'm just going to cut that shape out and if you do it folded in half you're going to get that shape on both sides there okay so there you have it all right so we're just going to pop that back onto him and check that's okay you're going to take your pins out again now Right, so I think I probably need to come a little bit lower on the legs because I don't want too much on that. So I'm going to just mark it off here. I probably want it at the bottom of that T there. So that's where I want to cut it at the top of my legs. So I'm going to fold it in half again there and I'm just going to cut down around like that because we don't want to have too much bulk. And it's basically just, uh, just you're just cutting into a semicircular type shape, okay? like that. Mm. Check that you're about right on both sides. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, and then we'll pop that back on. Get that done. And then all we need to do here is we're going to just bring this and we're going to put this together. But you can see that you need just a slight tiny little bit more on the back of it than you do on the front. And we're just going to do it together like that. And we're going to pop a pin in there just like that. There. Okay, so that is be where your crotch will be. Okay, so I'm going to take that off. And then I'm going to put a pin in the front and I'm going to put a pin in the back where I want that to join. Okay, one in that side and one in that side. There we go, right. And then we're going to take this to the sewing machine and all we're going to do is we're going to do a zigzag stitch all the way round from one pin to the other pin. So we'll take it to the sewing machine now. 
So here we are at the sewing machine and I've got the piece of fabric. But what I've done is I've transferred my stitch because when we're working with a knit stitch, we want to be on a zigzag. And if you're using a zigzag, remember you need to use a um, foot with a wide mouth, okay? So we're gonna just come from where the pin is, we're gonna place it in under the foot take it from where the pin is and what we want to do with this is what we don't want to pull our fabric and stretch it so all we're going to do is just gently feed it through and I'm going to come with from here so that you can see and we're going to go all the way around so here we have them, we've gone all the way around and you can see that it's just a, got that zigzag but it's just a little tiny bit messy so all we're going to do now is just take it and fold it under but we're still going to use the zigzag stitch but we're going to go all the way around and just give it a stick zigzag all the way around with that little bit folded under. Remember try not to pull it if you can help it, okay? So all I'm doing is I've got my piece of fabric and I'm just turning it very slowly and I'm just going to go around this really slowly and get a nice edge onto those pants. Keeping on that zigzag. I'll go all the way around both sides and keep that, just turn that in under. So here they are, and you can see that looks much neater around the outside. I didn't pull it too much, I was quite careful. Um, I'm just getting them lined up now for how I want them to be on the back and how I want them to sit on the legs because I'd like them to have a little bit just sitting on the legs because they're boxes. And what then you want to do is you want to bring this back here like that and come into the back and you want to get your seam for your back to come around this side, okay? So you want to have it about there. I hope you can sort of see that where the sort of bottom is. I'm just going to pop a pin in. Okay. Now, obviously, I've got them the right way around, but you need to obviously do that with them inside out. So I turned them inside out and I measured them onto his body, and that is where it would go. So I'm just going to remove that excess fabric there, and then we're going to do a zigzag stitch right across the bottom here got it under the needle I'm just going to remove my pin and remember not to pull it if you can help it and just go straight across okay and what I'm going to do because this is going to be played with by children is I'm going to do a double little stitching and that's it done finished so here they are and that's them finished. That's the back. As you can see, they've come out really nicely. I like the little bits. I do like them when they're boxes to have that sort of little bit over there. If you didn't like that, you can just cut them slightly higher and have them just as pants like that. But I do like the boxes myself on the boys um, like that. And so there they go. And there you have your little pants. So you have um, Raphael with those. This one, that was made out of a man's sock. This one was made out of a pair of baby socks, a, a pair which was a size 3 to 5, um, as was these here. And I kept the little word on that one, so it's slightly higher because I wanted it, and I thought that would be quite pretty with the little word on it. So that was just a pair of baby socks. Let's see if I've got it. Uh, just this size sock like that, okay? Um, and these again was a, were the same sock but these ones what I did was I added just a little bit of lace around the top here um, so that you could just make them a little bit prettier so there you go so you've got um, four different types these come up really high you can just make them a lot shorter if you want to but you can have whatever you like I hope you enjoyed this video goodbye Thank you.